Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the podcast where we discuss every sin, 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 sin in the Binding of Isaac series of video games. My name is Gary Butterfield, and with me as always is the third birthday, Will Hughes. That's me, Gary. I'm Aya Brea. <laughs> Aya Brea. Aya Brea. Aya Brea. A parasite to Eve. <laughs> the, uh, I remember what my family used to get together and do on Parasite Eve. What's that, Gary? Uh, pick parasites off one another. Oh, that's so sweet. Like apes. Like grooming. Like grooming. Mm-hmm. Arr, Shroom, grooming. Shrooming and grooming. Shrooming and grooming with the Butterfield family. I recently I went it, to the TV Tropes page for uh, all the Parasite Eve games. That was pretty good. Oh, yeah. Parasite Eve uh, 1 is cool. Um, I think that once you start grooming each other, you can no longer be the Butterfield family. You have to become the Butterfield clan. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you're eating what you groom. Oh man, what you what you groom, but groom all you eat. That's what, that's what they say. Uh, Gary, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't think you liked it, but they do say it. <laughs> they do say, I hate it when they say it. Let's talk about Wrath Baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the mad things and all the glad things that can be. Gary, you talk could, about the thing about that structure is you could do that for all these. I will. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wrath, we're talking about sins this week. For our third anniversary special. Yeah. Gary, it's been three years. Do you remember uh, how much younger we were when we started this show? It's 37. Yeah, I was, uh, Jesus, that's still really fucking old now. 32. Uh, uh, 34. 34. 33? 37, that is crazy where I could be like in my late 30s as opposed to being a 40-something now. Yeah, how is, uh... I'm basically I mean, you... like, god damn it. <laughs> yeah, it's wild. Yeah, just uh, drowning in a sea of time. I think I look pretty good for 40, though. I think I look pretty I, youthful. Gary, it's that hard living you do. It keeps you looking, you, uh, you know, youthful. <laughs> yep. You know me and hard living. Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> always working out, sandblasting, push-ups. Riding the rails. Riding the rails, you know. If you haven't, if you've never seen Gary, just imagine that incredibly annoying man who does those ads on YouTube videos who's like, true or false, cardio burns fat. False. False. I hate YouTube. that man so much. Do you I know really this man? Well. I do, because uh, I recently um, started watching YouTube on my smart TV that I got, uh-huh. but uh, I stopped doing that because of the ads. Oh, man. The thought so. of that man being on my television is very yeah. upsetting to me. And on all my portable devices and on my computer, I have an ad blocker, so I don't see ads on YouTube. Oh, nice. Thanks for killing my industry. Hey, uh, with pleasure, and I'd do it 10 times a day <laughs> if I could. <laughs> I'd do it gladly. <laughs> I'd do it gladly. I fucking hate them. Um, Wrath personifies Wrath pretty well. Pretty well, insofar as uh, Bomberman has always struck me as very wrathful. Well, and his little eyes, his little vibrating, like, angry eyes. Yeah, like, plus he looks like he's a bunch of bombs. Pissed. And you know, bombs are one of the, wor- the meanest things and maddest things you can do to somebody. Yeah, I've been listening to the Revolutions Podcast's uh, Russia series. A lot of people getting mm-hmm. bombed there. Yeah, Timothy McVeigh was pissed. Timothy McVeigh was mad, and that's why I got Half Day one time. Yeah. <laughs> Have I told you that story? <laughs> no, but is it is there more to the story than that? Because that's pretty good I, on its own. I mean, there's a step in between, which is uh, the federal execution site is in Terre Haute, where I grew oh. up. Oh, <laughs> uh, and they were worried about protests when McVeigh got executed, so they gave us half day. That's nice. That's great. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, Terre Haute moments. <laughs> Terra moments. <laughs> yeah. Um, this guy is also good because he's so he behaves like Bomberman. He has a little a special, unique Bomberman esque arena, uh, but he's not particularly smart. Like his AI isn't good. Oh no, not like by design, I think. Yeah. So you can. This is just a way, and he drops bombs. Uh, he has a chance to drop Mister Boom, which is no big deal, but Mega Bombs uh, with Ultra Wrath, which is a harder mm-hmm. version that drops Troll Bombs sometimes. But he always just drops a few bombs. Like this guy's great. Yeah, Super Wrath, great art. Uh, mm-hmm. It's again bigger, but also he has exploded himself already. In like from inside his mask. Yeah, it's good. Uh, but uh, yeah, so like he they drop bombs uh, and they kick him around. Uh, mm-hmm. Mega Wrath can spawn with two Mega Troll bombs, which are the ones that like follow you around. Which is, yeah. you know can be yeah, rough, but can be tricky. Yeah, um, yeah, but generally this guy is like a boon because yeah, he's going to get some bombs, free bombs. Uh, this guy's great. Um, unlike uh, Pride, who is not so horrible or anything, but is not always a boon. Yeah, and is also just thematically a mess. Yeah, I don't understand what's going on with Pride. Now, if you were to put a gun to my head and say, design a, a boss called Pride, 
It's rough, right? Yeah, I don't know what I would do exactly. Uh, um, like a mirror, where, like a mirror version of Isaac or something. It would have to be like a mirror. I think it would have to be like a a mirror version. That's that's the first draft, best draft thought anyway. And and he kind of looks like Isaac. Well, sure, but they you know, all just, do. they're all shaped. Like yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> the, the Isaac shape is very common in this game. He doesn't do Isaac things though. No, uh, he does two things that don't make sense. Uh, yeah. He either gets a troll face and spawns troll bombs. Yep. Or he zaps out uh, a an X a X shaped squiggle pattern thing. Mm hmm. And uh, the super pride one uh, does blood shots on top of that and does mega troll bombs instead of regular ones. Yeah, and is pretty rough. Honestly, it's pretty rough. Uh, to make up for that, he can drop the dead cat. Like getting a guppy item is great. Yeah. Um, the Otherwise, other one can uh, just drop the one drops, uh, anarchist <laughs> cookbook. Which fuck that shit. Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah. Um, he also and drops feel- uh, bombs. Yeah, which is nice, but he's much harder to deal with typically than uh, Wrath is. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. not as welcome at all. No, and and thematically a mess, as you pointed out. Yeah, Gary, if it feels like we're rushing through this one, it's because we have a game to play. We have a game, an anime. It's it's the newlywed game, Carnal mm-hmm. Podcaster Edition. I was calling it Look Who's Toxin Two. I like that too, Gary. Thank you. Because uh, we're it's talking us. about our about our own toxicity. Let mm-hmm. me get my drafts up where I have the list. Okay. Uh, in preparation for this, me and Will both rated ourselves on how are the ranking of the seven deadly sins, how much we engage in them, and what we think each other is. Yeah. So what's going to happen is I am going to uh, read, uh, for, I think from the bottom up, my list for Gary, mm-hmm. and he's going to tell me how right I am. And uh, do you want me to tell you what the actual number is for the sin? Or do you want me to tell you like how many numbers you're off? I think how many numbers I'm off. Yeah, okay. Would be good. Okay. So we're going to start with your bottom. guess for number seven. Yep. My guess for number seven, Gary's least represented sin. Greed. Correct. Yes. All right. Yeah, I am not. I hate money. Yeah. Uh, I don't like that nice was, things. That was a gimme. That was a gimme. Yeah. Uh, a lot of these I, I went really back and forth on, but that one was a gimme. All right. Number six, mm-hmm. pride. You are one off. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Number five. Well, wrath. you are one off. So <laughs> I think yep. you know what that one is. Yep. Was it that? That was yep. also one off. I uh, no, no. That one is one on. So if if your number six was you said pride for number six and it was one off and we know what yep. seven is, you then, know pride is number then, five. Gary, God damn, you're a logical genius. I know Sudoku. Sudoku. All right. Uh, so number five, my guess was wrath. Uh, flip those two. Yeah, also that's what I figured. Off. That's what yeah. I figured. But right. still uh, really good so far. Number four, mm-hmm. envy. Correct. Yeah. Jesus Christ, man. Uh, and now we get up into the into the fleshy ones. Yeah, and <laughs> the insulting crew. <laughs> <laughs> I, I this one I'm pretty sure on. Okay. Number three lust correct yeah well done okay all right thank you gary uh i spent a lot of time thinking about it uh all right uh okay now here's where it gets tricky Mm -hmm. i really went back and forth on these Mm -hmm. number two Mm -hmm. sloth no now yeah and then number one gluttony obviously i got those i got those flipped i i am such a king of sloth there's nothing i look forward to more in the day than going to sleep uh nyquil is my drug of choice um, that's all I want to do is lay down and read comics and not do anything. Yeah. I'm going to be honest, Gary. It's, uh, it, I, I, I had it flipped at first mm-hmm. and then I thought about you less as a physical entity and more as a spiritual oh. entity. Oh, and I feel like spiritually you have a real lust for life. Oh, <laughs> thank I you. feel like you are a very carnal, at least relative to me. Yeah. I feel like your spirit, your soul is more, uh, more gluttonous than slothful. I, I don't know if that's true, but maybe it would have been true at a time when I was younger. Yeah, I think of you as an active seeker of pleasure. Yeah, I do like pleasure. Uh, hedonism, Gary. <laughs> no, it's going too far. Let me see if I can get hedonism, hedonism Will on the phone. Beep, boop, okay. Hey, Gary. Hey, hedonism, Will. Hey, I, you have no idea how many sauces I've got on me right now. <laughs> is it? Uh, is it one? It, no, I wish. No, I don't. Uh, I no. wish for it's seventeen, and I wish for eighteen. Yeah, always want more. 
legal, right? Legal yeah. sauces? Legal. <laughs> Gary, you've been reading my zine, legal sauces. <laughs> See, I'm more, he, I've been talking to hedonism Gary, and he's more into barely legal sauces. Gross. <laughs> Even for these characters, super gross. <laughs> and then he, he's taking a turn to barely illegal sauces. Nope, that's much worse. <laughs> <laughs> that's more that's criminal <laughs> hey gary yeah I, I was wondering if you could get me something what would you like sugar 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 uh, sure uh, yeah. and a glass of water yeah uh sugar. mixed or separate uh i don't remember <laughs> <laughs> and here you go both <laughs> That's how I drink everything. All right, I got to get on the fuck bus. Okay, <laughs> well, you're turning any bus to get onto into a fuck bus. That's the beautiful thing about him. No, uh, not God, a it's, bus. Good, it's, it's good to see him. It's been a while, especially now that we're past the three year mark. That kind of shows that he's going to show up in every episode for the next yeah, three I mean, years. It's amazing, given his just how he drinks things, mm-hmm. that he's lasted three years. Yeah, yeah, he's he's, he's 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 a midlife crisis. He's three, and he'll live to six. Uh, that's a sad thing like if a kid dies at six they have their midlife crisis at three gary i agree it's sad when six-year-old children die i'm glad that after three years we can find one fucking three years old they're like getting a fancier big wheel and stuff (laughs) yeah i guess they skip that part of jack yeah francis Uh, ford coppola's jack um if you like this show head on over to patreon.com slash duckfeedtv it's a great time um, it is, it's, it's a really fun time to give us some money. Yeah, very fun uh, time to give us money, especially economic insecurity here and abroad. Yeah, boy. Uh, Gary, uh, I have a review for you. It, it's okay. a little on the, the the referencing a mean thing side, but I think okay. it's okay. That's okay. Uh, this is a five-star review from uh, uh, Sbethan. S-B-Ethan. Yeah. Uh, title, Replace Will. <laughs> it's simple. The co-host with the soundboard is my favorite. Sorry, Hughes. <laughs> Thanks, Jeremy. For that review. <laughs> J- Jeremy Spiethen Greer. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Spiethen. Oh, man. Uh, thanks, everybody. We appreciate yeah, you. thanks. Three, three glorious years of slowly declining podcast numbers. Mm-hmm. But we can go f- further down. <laughs> absolutely we can whittle this down to just my <laughs> just one person a laser focus and it will just be like the hey uh you know hey jack hey cast. dave cast hey dave you know what are you up to <laughs> so your weekly segment how's Gary, dave's wife doing you're essentially describing my uh my twitch streams yeah hey rodrigo how's it going <laughs> hey hey bill darrow hey <laughs> hey bill darrow hey elise 42020 or something like that uh, it's it's eli oh oh well, there's a five in there. I can hardly be blamed. <laughs> Fucking fair, man. Yeah. Good night. Fives is S's. <laughs> Fives is S's. Good night. <laughs>